Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. American just moved to Tasmania, Australia. What could go wrong? Make sure you subscribe if you want to stick around. Just got back from my like very first official like master's. It's not like a, it wasn't a master's seminar. It was for international students, but still it was like finally something. I just feel like I've been here for so long, even though I've gotten here 15 days ago now. Yeah, just over two weeks. My arm is hurting from holding this camera. <laughs> um, ran a couple errands this morning. Finally picked up something in the mail, which I'm quite excited about. I've been waiting to get a quilt cover. I'm kind of upset because online this looked a lot more orange and deep. It's like very light and yellow. So quite sad about that one, especially considering this wasn't cheap and I waited almost two weeks for this to come in the mail. So uh, definitely will be giving an honest review, but at this point, just sick of looking at white. This bed looks horrible right now because someone came in and fixed the box spring was just really squeaky and not, <laughs> not a vibe. Finally, a comforter cover, a quilt cover, whatever, a duvet cover, whatever the F you want to call it. Finally. Finally feeling like my life is coming along, at least just, just a little bit. Finally got the package. Uh, it's my coffee equipment. Where did you use? From the sites, is it? No, 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 oh my God. Um, honestly, it probably would have been quicker if I just ordered it from the States at this point. Okay. Um, no, Alternative Brewing. Mm. It's a Aussie brand. Um, where in Aussie did it come from? Somewhere in Queensland. Oh my God, literally this would cost me so little money in the States and it wouldn't take two weeks. Yeah, literally this is like my fourth one or something because uh, my brother broke one and then my parents felt bad so they bought me a new one. Yeah. <laughs> but this could only be like 40 bucks in the States mm -hmm. and this was like 90. Oh my gosh, finally. <laughs> Even the filters too, they were like almost 30 bucks. Yeah. Finally. Yeah, because uh, if it's too fine, it sits in the water too long. If it's too coarse, it doesn't sit in the water long enough. It's a whole. It's a really important. It's a whole science. Oh, this smells divine. <laughs> we'll do like, we'll start off at like 16 grams. How does this work? Oh, is there an on button? Hello. Okay, well that works. That's good to know. Let's see if I don't know if it's enough. Yeah, I forgot to turn the outlet plug on. Also, it's definitely a bit louder than my grinder back home, so that's super fun. I'll uh, be wary of when I grind my beans so I don't wake everyone up. Oh, these look glorious. I'm excited. Maybe a little bit too fine, but we're gonna roll with it. So 14.6 times 15.5. So 223 of water, clear. Start my timer. Bloom. Oh, praise the Lord, this is working. Now I have to go out and buy my cute mugs that I've been putting off buying. Because I was like, well, I don't have my coffee equipment yet. Where are we go? Uh, so, uh, Staple Coffee, it's on, um, it's right off, I think it's Murray. They have a lot of really cute local mugs, or there's also a spot um, right near the, where Salamanca Market is, but it's like a art shop there. Mm -hmm. They also have some cute ones. Yeah, so I just have my Kmart mug. Yeah. 
If I want to pay $25 on my filters, I will. <laughs> yeah. Satisfying first pour. Time to go to the Salamanca Market. So worth the wait. This is by far my fave coffee here at the market and probably Hobart as well. Love their coffee. Finally, I'm trying that dairy-free porridge that I came across the other week. I'm so excited. It doesn't look incredible from here, but it's really good. Back at Target after the markets. Figured get me out of the house. See, I love this set, but it didn't come in the size that I needed. And of course now it's on sale too. Cute stuff that I probably don't need. Like these pots are so cute, but I can't keep a plant alive to save my life. I do want like a nice throw pillow for my bed, but I'm not too sure what vibe I want. Some of these are nice. I do need a throw blanket. But also I'm like, I could probably just go to Kmart and get some things a bit cheaper. Back from running errands, let's do a mini haul. Okay, so first things first, trying a new wine. I've been trying to sit my way through a lot of different Tasmanian wines. Anyone has any recs, I love a good dry white. This is Ninth Island. I can't remember. I tried, I think it was 42 South. Sauvignon and I didn't really like it. I loved Icon, but I haven't seen it in the store since I like first got here. And then there was another one that I didn't really like. I think it was like Frenchman Bay, I don't remember. Anyway, that's what I got. It was that Typo, this was 50% off. And then I also got a coffee mug to start my coffee mug collection here. So sad, I have like such a nice collection back home in the States. Went to the reject shop, got a couple hangers, random, boring cleaning supplies. Super boring stuff. At Target, I got some glass looking glasses, but they're actually plastic, which is great because I'm really clumsy. Finally got some hand towels for the bathroom. Oh, also at the reject shop, I got duct tape to see if I can sort out my leaning fan situation with the one screw that won't come undone. And then, I'm so excited. I got this from Target. If you've been watching my videos, make sure you subscribe first. But I saw this on my first trip to Target and I used to buy these off Etsy from like one of my favorite Etsy shops back in the States. And um, I feel bad because she, as a small business, sells her own kits on Etsy to like make your own, but Paying international shipping right now is uh, not at the top of my list. So for 10 bucks, I'm quite excited because I also need coasters. And this literally is like the same thing that I have at home. So it's kind of like a, a treat to myself. Yeah, that is the mini haul. I don't even know what I'm like doing with anything right now. you've been keeping up these are drying quite nicely i'm not sure if i'll have to do the traditional like drying process where you flip them over because they're quite they're pretty dry as is but yeah i got these at the market um over a week ago we can have to now or not the market sorry the little like flower van and yeah they're just really nice decor sending love to Hobart, South Hobart. There was a decent bushfire just a couple hours ago. They had all of the helicopters up above and to my knowledge, it's pretty contained right now on Mount Nelson, but my first experience with an Australian bushfire and I just hope that everyone
everyone was able to stay safe. It looked like, from my knowledge, mainly woods or more open area and not any homes, but I could totally be wrong. Not many like news articles have come out that I've been trying to look into, but I did the wind today. It's probably why the bushfire got to be as bad as it was because I don't know, you probably even can't even hear that, but the wind is so bad this Saturday evening. Also, I am really enjoying the Ninth Island Pinot Gris. I asked at the bottle store, or what do you call it in Australia? Because in New Zealand, they would call like a, what we would call in the States, like a liquor store, a bottle store or a bottle shop. Because in the States, it, regardless if it's sold, actual liquor, wine or beer, I would just call it the liquor store, unless it, you know, obviously was just a wine shop, then I would call it that, but do you guys call it a bottle store? Liquor store? What do you call it? I don't know. But anyway, I actually do really like it. It's a nice dry white. Um, don't like it as much as the Icon Sauvignon Blanc that I was chatting about, but still quite good. I'll have to go back to that one more local wine shop to get more of that Icon wine because I was quite impressed. But yes, if you have any wine recommendations, I know so many of you have been recommending a bunch of different things for Tasmania or Australia in general, which I greatly appreciate because especially like being international, being brand new to literally everything here, it's much appreciated. But if you have any wine recommendations, would love those as well. Or even sour beer, I was surprised is quite a thing here in the States. It's quite, at least in the Northeast, it's quite new and up and coming, but if I do drink beer, I do like sour beer. Uh, definitely more of my brother's style. That's definitely his favorite thing. But I saw it at a bar in North Hobart last week, a couple different sour beer options on tap. And I was like, what, that's so cool. Anyway, if you came as far, I appreciate you. Let me know if you like longer videos or shorter videos. This kind of is just like a compilation of all of the above. But I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Make sure to give this video a like because it really supports me in the algorithm. Check out my main channel, Instagram. It's probably where I'm most active. Again, your support is insane and thank you. Have a great weekend. Bye.